There we go, force restart here. Now, if you're getting an error message on Facebook that says this message with this operation could not be completed, transient error domain, Tigon Ligger error domain code 44, and a bunch of other information, you're gonna follow these steps to fix it. So let's get started. The very first thing you wanna do is go ahead and update the app. If you haven't updated, go to the App Store on your iPhone, and then simply search for Facebook. So once you search on Facebook, right, you're going to see there should be an update. If there's an update available, you're going to tap on it, let it do its thing, where it's going to download and install the latest update. So we're going to wait for it to finish and doing that. So let's go ahead and wait for it to install that latest update for you. So we're going to wait here. And once it says open, it's ready. Now, for some reason, when you search it up, it says open. That means it's already up to date. You will move on to the next step, which is going to be simply opening the app and swipe up and close it and then relaunch it again now if that is still having the issue it's time to go ahead and update the phone software itself by going into your settings general software update and then go ahead and update your phone if there is an update available that way app and the software is updated together and you might have to also check for to see after you update it to see if there's an update available for Facebook if you didn't get the update before. Now, if you did this step, it's still not working. It's time to go ahead and completely delete the app and reinstall it. Keep in mind, when you completely delete it and reinstall it, it's not going to delete your account. So all you do is long press and hold, remove app, and then delete app. And once you delete it app, uh, and then go back to the App Store and reinstall it and then sign back into your account and that should do it. Now the final thing to do is following this step, it's still not working. You're going to quickly press and release the volume up, volume down and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So the key thing here is to quickly press and release the volume up, volume down and then hold on to this big side button just like that. Keep on holding until the screen goes completely black and then we'll keep on waiting still until you see the Apple logo and at that moment you'll let it go and that will go ahead and basically force the phone to shut down and reload the code so if it's a software related issue which most likely it is that you're seeing that error message it should go ahead and fix it for you and once you're back on go ahead and see if it's working and then go ahead and open up Facebook and it should be working for you. Now, if it's still not working, another thing you could also do is access Facebook through Safari, for example, just to make sure it is working. So just search up Facebook this way and then try to see if it takes you to the app and opens it up for you. So that's gonna be all the fixes you can do to fix that error. I hope this video was helpful. If so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.